What is phylloxera? The simple answer is a bug. A tiny American bug that lays waste to any European vine roots it can sink its teeth into. It is impossible to understate the importance of phylloxera when looking at American wine history as a whole, and since the 1860s, the global wine industry as well. Phylloxera is an aphid, native to the northeastern U.S. In its microscopic larval form, it attaches itself to grapevine roots to suck on the sap. It evolved alongside wild native American grapes, which have natural defenses against phylloxera. The aphid has a nibble, the vine redirects its sap, everybody walks away just fine. So, why is this little bug so insanely significant? Because when you bring a European vine over and plant it in American soil, that vine has never seen phylloxera in its life. It has no defenses, and it will be dead within three years. For centuries, every time a settler tried to grow wine in America, it was a total failure. And what's more insidious is, remember, you cannot see these guys with the naked eye. So for generations, hopeful grape growers just threw up their hands and said, it must be something wrong with the climate. But in the 1860s, phylloxera went from a localized American phenomenon to the most important event in modern wine history. So what happened? The invention of the steamship. On the faster boat, the bug could now hitch a ride on a vine sample and survive the transatlantic crossing. The mysterious withering vineyards were first reported in the Languedoc in 1863. Phylloxera's march across France was swift. In 1870, France was a 3 to 1 exporter of wine. A decade later, they were a 9 to 1 importer. The rest of Europe wasn't far behind. Nobody knew why or what to do. It seemed like an omen of the apocalypse. French grape growers tried some crazy things. Flooding the vineyards. Fumigating the soil with toxic gases. The permanent solution wound up being grafting. That is to say, planting an American vine, chopping off the top, and grafting a European vine onto its phylloxera-resistant root system. For the vast majority of vineyards in the world today, we're talking 95 plus percent, every single plant is grafted like this. Phylloxera isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Once only a problem for the earliest American winemakers, then threatened to wipe out the entire wine culture of the old world. And now, simply, part of the new normal of wine production.